In Montana State's 124 year history, the Bobcats have only played McNeese State once, November 30th, 2002, during the first round of the FCS playoffs. Now, the Cowboys did make it to the championship that year, but that season ended up being a turning point for both programs. The Bobcats have grown into a powerhouse amongst the FCS, while McNeese State hasn't won a playoff game since. However, in Vegan's words, tradition doesn't just go away. If you've had it over time at your institution, to light that fire, it doesn't necessarily take years. I mean, it, it just takes gaining a little momentum. You know, we got to live in the moment of where this team is right now. Don't look at maybe where they've been the last couple years or whatever record-wise. Expect them to be playing a, a different brand of football than maybe what we're looking at. Between two hurricanes, academic sanctions, and four head coaches in five years, it's safe to say McNeese State has had their fair share of battles recently. Last fall, the Cowboys went four and seven, marking back-to-back -back losing seasons for the first time in 33 years. They're coming off a coaching change. So there's uncertainty as far as what we, what we're going to see on Saturday. This game will mark a new era of football for McNeese State under the leadership of Gary Goff, who spent the last three years of Valdosta State leading the Blazers to back-to-back -back conference titles and a trip to the Division II National Championship. And obviously, they made the hire they did because of the success that he had had at Valdosta, and there's an expectation that this staff has to win like they've been winning. Goff brings over an entirely new staff, six from Valdosta State, but that's not the only fresh thing about this program. More than half their roster is new this fall, making game planning more difficult. It's not a team where you could look at just their tape from last year and say this is exactly what they're going to be. You can't just look at Valdosta's film necessarily and say this is exactly what they're going to be. It's got to be a blend of, of schemes from some different places and also the, the talent that they do return. One of those returners is linebacker Cordell Williams, who led the Cowboys in tackles last fall. And with the return of two vets on the line, McNeese State has sights set on remaining as the Southland's top rushing defense. We're really unsure about what they're going to be throwing at us on defense, what kind of front, but we're preparing for three and four down, you know, so I think we're excited for the opportunity and we're going to get after them for sure. But the headline this fall has been the quarterback battle, both transfers from the FBS. I think it's pretty open-minded right now, but I, I know they were explosive at Valdosta and I know that I, I'm certain that's what they aim to be um, in this move to McNeese.